What's up, beautiful people? It's your Cali Country Cousin Amber, and I'm back with another video. So this was a increasingly highly requested video. A YouTuber by the name of Zee Marie Beauty reviewed a comb from Sally's called the Three Row Comb. After that, you guys probably know her as Hazel Goddess over here on YouTube. She reviewed it, and she also told me just like in the DM, she was like, I, you know, you should try it. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing two different methods to use this comb on my hair and just showing you guys the results from both. This video is also going to serve a second purpose, which is the second impressions of the Wet Line Extreme Gel Black. I'll be back at the very end to give you guys my final thoughts and talk to you guys a little bit more about my second impressions of the gel. But for now, let's jump right into the review. For my leave-in conditioner today, I'm going to be using the leave-in by Mish Beauty. I do have a review on the entire line on my channel, so just check my description box for that. For a little additional moisture plus curl definition, I'm going to be going on top of that with the Curl Smoothie by Honey's Handmade. Also check the DB for more info and videos um, featuring this product. And then last but not least, I'm going to be topping it with the Wet Line Extreme Gel Black. So on this side, I'm going to be applying the gel and then just running the comb straight through that section after the gel is applied to just give it like that shingling effect that everybody is wondering like, is this a great alternative? Is this better than shingling? What does this comb really do? It definitely shingled my hair, but as you guys can see, my hair definitely didn't turn out as smooth as it normally turns out, but I could tell that it was going to give my hair that like fluffy volume that I told you guys I've been looking for. So I'm still committed to doing the whole right side of my hair like this. So I'm just gonna apply more gel. And then by the time I got to this section, this is when I started to realize like the whole heavy gel running a you know, hair utensil through fine textured hair that has a heavy gel on top. It just felt like a recipe for breakage. And I, <laughs> I just wasn't like really feeling the idea of, you know, possibly breaking my hair using this. With the next sections, I decided to kind of use this as a double detangler plus shingler. And I worked from the ends to the roots with the gel in my hair, but this made it so, you know, I wasn't feel like I was breaking my hair. Just definitely don't run this from your roots to your ends, girls, with gel in your hair, okay? Still do the age old rule, ends to roots, and it works a lot better. So I'm just gonna do my entire, what, what is this, right side of my head? I'm gonna do the entire right side of my head like this. So as you guys can see, like it was a lot of shingling, like it definitely separated my curls for great volume, but I can already see the frizz starting to form. So I wanted to make sure that I did it on like the more cooperative side of my head, just because even right there in the front, you can just already tell. I feel like just running that comb through was like raking the product off of my hair. So on the left side of my head, I am just going to take the same gel, like same product combination, but the method of defining my curls on this side is going to be the smoothing method. I've shown you guys this method on my channel, ooh, a long time ago, right when my hair started to get long. This is just an alternative to shingling your hair, but it gets your curls really smooth, and then you just have to do a lot of fluffing in the like drying stage. I like the smoothing method not only because it gets my roots really smooth, but it gets my like entire head really smooth and it defines my curls really nicely. I told you guys I was gonna be showing you two different methods. So I did realize that this comb, it does a good job in detangling your hair if 
enough. <laughs> it is in small sections. So what I decided to do was like on the sections before I applied the gel, so with just the curl smoothing in my hair, just running the comb through my hair to give it a good detangle so that it would be easier to apply the gel. This is the method that I really liked. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I really liked this method versus the other side because it did detangle the small sections good. I didn't feel like it was breaking my hair. The comb ran straight through my hair. And then because I feel like it had separated the strands, like shingled through the strands thoroughly, it was a lot easier to the, apply the gel and it was a lot easier to smooth it into my hair. And it allowed me to move on a lot more quickly versus having to spend so much time making sure that that product is working my hair. I feel like that comb separated the strands enough to where the gel just applied a lot easier, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do to the entire right side of my head. I'm just going to first detangle it with the comb and then apply the gel. And although I'm not using the comb for shingling per se on this side, I feel like this is still a method to use the Thurio comb because it does help your curls like separate even though you're only smoothing it. I hope that makes sense. I will talk to you guys more about it once it dries. So this is what my hair looks like when it is completely done and the difference in the two methods is clear. Like you guys can see it on camera. I could see it as I was doing my hair. It is very clear which side is the most defined and which side is like has the most volume. At this point, I was expecting some frizz, but I didn't know if it was gonna really affect the overall look of my hair. So I'm gonna let this dry. I did blow dry my hair and I'm gonna come and talk to you guys about the final results. All right guys, so these were the final results the entire time. I'm sure a lot of you guys figured that. Now that you guys could see the whole process of me styling and applying and using the comb, what do you guys think? Can you actually tell a difference in my hair? And could you tell a difference in both sides before I actually told you that there was one? I'm gonna go ahead and say that I absolutely can tell a difference. I don't know how much it is showing on camera because I did, I had to like, I did this experiment and then it was so crazy. It was the one night that I actually decided to go somewhere. So you really don't wanna go out with your head looking like two different completely heads of hair, you know, like on both sides. So I tried to get it to match as much as possible when I was blow drying it like stretching because I know you guys could tell in that prior clip that the side with the three row comb as a shingling technique was definitely a lot more shrunken than my smoothing side so I did try to stretch this side a little bit when I was blow drying my hair just to so it wouldn't look completely crazy my hair still feels dry y'all like I don't know I really 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 want to like this gel like I am not giving up on this gel because I feel like this is a good gel now let's just go ahead and talk about the differences and I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can really see what I'm talking about okay so now that I am closer to the camera I feel like it is definitely a lot easier to see exactly what I'm talking about and the difference in my hair first of all you can just definitely see even with me trying to like stretch it with the blow dryer this hair is definitely more shrunken and it's just an overall more voluminous more volume feel wash and go which is cool but like if you go to like look on the inside it's just a lot frizzier than I normally have my wash and goes on day two just because I like the longevity that I can get if it isn't this frizzy on me on day two versus when you look over at this side it's first of all it's definitely like my hair is cut the exact same way on both sides it's just not as shrunken on this side so it's definitely going to give you more length but you are going to like suffer on the volume but the I feel like the definition is showing more on this side and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong because I am looking through the viewfinder but 
I definitely feel like my hair has more definition on this side and it's not as frizzy. So it's gonna, I just feel like it's just gonna last a lot longer. Like all that, that is those pieces of hair that when my hair was wet, remember I showed you guys when my hair was wet, I was like, that's gonna be frizzy because I feel like the comb was scraping off the product. That's that's what created all that frizz. So my honest opinion is that I do like this method a lot more for styling my hair. Don't get me wrong, I really like how this side looks. So what do you guys think? What side do you guys think is the better side? Like, if you think this side is the better side, you know, that's cool, because I still think this side looks good. So y'all let me know in the comment section which side you think is the better side, which method do you think would work better for you. And if you have tried the three row comb, let me know how you used it and if you liked it. I love you guys so much. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, that means you are my cousin. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and become my cousin. I'll see you guys in the next video.